Greetings, I am Luke. And I am Rob Chapman. Rate my greetings. I rate your greetings at a solid 11 out of 10, bro. <laughs> Very cold. Uh, yes. Welcome to Papa Greg's farm. Ta da! Home of <laughs> olives, crisps, and occasionally a cold yellow brew called Chisk. Ah. Let's start this video review uh, demonstration with an apology from both of us for the fact that we don't really play bass. I'm sorry, we'll try our best, okay? Yes, we, we shall. <laughs> sound like a bassist to me, man. <laughs> I mean, I, that's what bass guitar sounds like. But the star of the show here is... The Rocket Bass. This bass amplifier is, well, it's marketed as a practice amp. It's a 1 by 8 inch combo, so you have an 8 inch speaker here. Um, and the controls are pretty simple. You have your bass, mid-range and treble, and your master volume. <laughs> Chords ring out very nice on this one. What is nice about this amp is it has its built-in overdrive circuit as well, called the SGT, which stands for Super Grit Technology. Wow, Super Grit? Yep. Yeah. That sounds like a bike I wanted to buy in the 80s. Yes, it does. <laughs> further up into the range of the rocket base, um, you will find out that this super grid technology overdrive circuit on later models can actually have its own gain control or ah. level controls. It's just an on-off switch on this one and it gives you just the right amount of gain that you need for an amp like this. Nice! <laughs> I'm so sorry to every bassist that we know, including ones literally five minutes away. <laughs> but actually, one of the most popular videos we did was repurposing uh, an Ampeg. Yes, the SVT uh, Yeah, into a mini. guitar amp. If you yeah. haven't seen that, please check it out after you've yes. watched us fumble a bass guitar. And that looks like a very nice bass guitar. Indeed. It is a Yamaha TRBX604FM, standing for Flame Maple Top. Um, That's the stand for... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, you can, if the my friend Maple Top comes through on camera, but um, we'll make sure it does. We'll put it on the bench of doom and glory and film it close up like that, definitely. and then it will look really Ooh, amazing. That so is... it's got a passive and an active uh, circuit. Which yep. you can blend two YGD pickups, Yamaha guitar development pickups. The five knobs you see here are master volume, bass, middle, and treble, which you can boost and cut. There's an indent on the on the middle. Yeah, you can kind of feel it go. Ah, that's exactly. the middle. Fixed. Uh, bridge and you have obviously you're gonna have a fixed bridge on the base. Why did yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exists. Well, you might have a tremolo. Are there many tremolo bases? <laughs> I think they do exist as do far they? as I know, but they're not that common. <laughs> um, if, side dot inlays. Oh, nice. I was gonna say, if one person watching this video has a tremolo base, please comment. Yes, that would be nice to, to explore. It looks really cool, man. I, yep. I, what I like is it's sort of genre agnostic look. Yes, yes. You could play anything on it, yeah. really. You can't say it's like a traditional bass, it's a no. metal bass, it's a jazz bass, it's an everything bass. Got it's long, isn't it, man? Yep. Yamaha just make great looking things. <laughs> I just can't play bass with my fingers, man. They're not cut out for it. Could you could you pass me a pick, please? Thanks. Nice. 
you know what I'm noticing? Because my experience of I, I've been lucky and had some incredible bass players playing some some bands that I've been in. Um, I'm thinking specifically of people like Zaya and Dave, who are Definitely. obviously phenomenal. Hats off. And something, yeah. If I had a hat, I would be doffing my cap immediately. Yes. But something that I, I think I don't know much about bass guitars, but something that I do know is tone. Yes. And this sounds expensive. It does. It does. Is it expensive? Honestly, I haven't checked yet. This is <laughs> we a better real unbiased <laughs> yeah. opinion of both the guitar and the bass. Should we check? I think we should check because the, um, the, the rig sounds like an expensive rig. Olympusmusic.com Yes. We love Olympus Five Music because away. during a pandemic plague, yep. they went, yeah, you can go to a farmhouse and demonstrate gear. Sure, no problem. Do whatever you want to do. Love I like there. music companies like that. This is actually a 159 euro What? Amp. Yes. It's 150 euros. Yep. Yes. Well, uh, well, there you go. <laughs> it's not. It's not an expensive amp. And what about the bass? It is a 600 euro bass. Okay. So I mean, but that's like intermediate kind of borderline. Ah, I mean, if a guitar was 600 euros, you'd be like, it's an affordable guitar, yeah. kind of, depending uh -huh. on your budget. Exactly. But it doesn't sound like a six, no. seven, eight hundred euro And it's Euro super rig. comfortable to play. The neck on this one is amazing. As I mentioned earlier, you do not have any gain controls for on this particular model of amp, but I think it's just the right amount of gain a bassist would need for, um, for most styles. Yeah, what do they need? So at the moment, our bassist is using a rap pedal. Yep. And it sounds phenomenal. We're so synced. It must be because we continually drink chisk. Oh. Uh, well, look, I'm really enjoying pretending that I can play this TRBX 604 FM, <laughs> continually wishing that guitar companies would name guitars with a name. Play the bass and we'll order, we'll order a platter. Definitely. I've been chatting for see you later. Have a look. Bye-bye. <laughs>